Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the morphology of the deciduous maxillary central incisor. So this one is the right maxillary deciduous central incisor and this one is the left maxillary deciduous central incisor. So these incisors, the maxillary deciduous incis central incisors, they are centered within the maxillary arch and these teeth they perform cutting function these teeth emerge into the oral cavity around the age of 10 months these teeth are replaced by a process that is called exfoliation by the permanent maxillary central incisors that is around the age of 7 to 8 years This is a crown of the maxillary deciduous central incisor. The crown it is wider mesial distally as compared to the incisor cervical length of the crown. The, the mesial, this is the mesial outline of the crown and this is the distal outline of the crown. So the mesial and the distal outlines they are rounded as compared to the permanent central incisor. While in this tooth, this is the mesial outline and it is relatively straight as compared to the distal outline which is rounded. This is the incisal surface. So the incisal surface of the crown, it is it slopes towards the distal aspect. From mesial to the distal, it slopes towards the distal aspect. This angle, which is this angle is the mesial incisal angle. So the mesial incisal angle, it is relatively sharp as compared to this angle, which is the distal incisal angle, which is more rounded. The labial, this is the labial surface of the crown and the labial surface, it is smooth as compared to the permanent central incisor in which there are some developmental depressions on the labial surface. The root it is single and conical and conical in shape and the root it appears longer as compared to the length of the crown. This is the cingulum on the cervical third of the crown and it is well developed as compared to the lateral incis deciduous lateral incisor though as compared to the permanent incisor it is less developed this is a ridge or elevated area and this is the mesial marginal ridge this ridge this el there is an elevation in this area as well and this is the dis and this is the distal marginal ridge In between these ridges and the cingulum, in between these ridges and the cingulum, there is a fossa known as lingual fossa or also referred as the palatal fossa. The root it is narrow on the palatal aspect. So some of the mesial and the distal aspect it is visible from the lingual aspect. So this is the crown from the mesial aspect. This is a tooth from the mesial aspect. So this is the curvature of the cervical line. It is more towards the incisal aspect. The crown it appears thicker in the middle third. This is the single root and sometimes there is a developmental depression on the root surface. You can see the root curvature towards the labial side in the apical one third. Central incisor from the Distal aspect, the, curvature, the cervical line curvature, it is nearly straight. Uh, the height of the crown, it is less because of the slope of the incisal ridge towards the distal aspect. The root surface is also smooth with no developmental depression. Now, this is the incisal aspect. The crown, it appears wider mesiodistally. From the mesial to the distal, the crown is wider as compared to the labiolingual dimension. The labial surface of the crown, it, it appears more broad 
and smooth as compared to the lingual surface because the lingual surface has concavity and raised mesial and the distal marginal ridges. The incisal ridge on this tooth it is nearly straight. So when we will see the lateral incisor you will see a curvature in the cervical line. So uh, this is a brief lecture about the maxillary deciduous central incisor. Hope you like this video. Uh, please do give your feedback in the comments below.